Everton have today been linked with a move for Dan Ashworth, who left Manchester United this week. Ashworth was only at Old Trafford for just over five months. In fact, he spent longer on garden and leave after leaving Newcastle United to join Manchester United. There's still some confusion over Kevin Thelwell. His contract expires in the summer. And obviously Everton are on the verge of being taken over by the free king group. That's expected in the next week or so to be completed. Uh, then we may find out whether or not Kevin Thelwell is going to sign a new deal with the football club. Obviously, the there could be room for both at Everton. Uh, with the Freakins, Owen and Roma as well. There's a, a school of thought that says Ashworth might come in as sporting director for both clubs and oversee it that way. Uh, that's one of the things going around today. Arsenal are thought to also be monitoring Ashworth's next move. Armando Breuer, Yusuf Chimiti, Nathan Patterson, Jake O'Brien and Seamus Coleman all played in a bounce game behind closed doors at Finch Farm today against Mansfield Town. All of them stepping up their fitness, obviously. And we've seen Patterson featuring in the under-21s, as has Breuer and Yusha Chimiti. Uh, Jake O'Brien's played in that as well. But Seamus Coleman, good to see him getting some minutes under his belt and obviously ahead of Everton's trip to the Emirates at the weekend. There have been two fixture changes for the first team that have been announced. Uh, Crystal Palace away on the 15th of February. That game was a three o'clock kickoff. It will now kick off at 5.30. That's on Sky Sports. And Manchester United the following week, the 22nd of February. Uh, that will now kick off at 12.30 on the Saturday. That one could change, however, if Manchester United qualify for the next phase of the Europa League, which they should do. Um, so keep an eye out for that. It could go to the Sunday otherwise, but two fixture changes at the moment for Everton. And finally, Mikel Arteta has uh, confirmed that Ben White and Tommy Yashu, they're both long-term injuries, uh, Zinchenko, Gabriel Calafiori, Julian Timber and Thomas Party all missed Arsenal training ahead of their Champions League game against Monaco. Mikel Arteta said he's unsure at the moment who will be available for the visit of Everton at the weekend. So we could get a little bit of a boost from a defensive uh, weakness perspective from Arsenal, obviously Everton's record at the Emirates isn't very good. We've only won there once. That was back in 2021 when Richarlison scored. And other than that, it hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Everton. Arsenal needing a victory to put the pressure on Liverpool, of course. But if they've got defenders missing, then that could be an opportunity for us. So fingers crossed that most of them don't make it back in time for the game. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't very close to 92,000 subs now. So take us over that market. Thank you very much. See you later.